All right, so from my screen, I uh, see you as a team member. Currently in the free trial, and sign in to your account. And then actually, uh, looks like a one week trial. I thought it was two. I'll move these out of the way. Um, there we go. Going back for a second. So in my area, I have these templates and I have the team templates and I created, I'm going to use, um, I think this one, I made this one really extensive. Um, actually not, this one's the follow-up template. Let me go back. Um, I think I made this one um, oh yeah, starts with an invite. Uh, it says, hi, I see your position in the city. I work with professionals like yourself to develop the generation strategy. It's going to send you more details. That's the basic message. Gets the most conversions. And then I have this extensive routine that we can cover and you can go through as well. Uh, so once this is a team template, um, then once I go into the team member, I go to campaigns. Actually, before that, um, we can remove these, withdraw your pending. These are probably old. Um, campaign add a campaign the leads so these are the BDMs US so I'm just giving that list a name I'm going to use a LinkedIn search to add them this is based on your LinkedIn account so that's the URL you gave me it's going to start searching that there's 500 it's kind of small, probably should have went closer to a thousand, but once we go through the 500, we can add some more. Click max to get all of them and then create the list. You can add more leads to any campaign over and over again. So you can do that here now, or you can do it after. So I'm going to the template now. I'm going to pick the team template, which was this one. Um, select the template here I can actually modify it I can save it as a template on my own we can go through the details later primarily it's always the same message variations and activities there's some new features where you can send in mails and you can also search their email and send an actual email which is kind of new and probably effective so once we're done this go next give the campaign a name Business Development Managers US 1. Here you can do some additional things like push to webhook integration. Um, I usually leave this with no integration. Um, you could connect Zapier, and um, which I think this is what actually does. You can do a Zapier hook and then have your Zapier automation do whatever you want. So if you want to add the um, HubSpot or something, I don't do that through here. And then these options here, so you can filter and skip. Um, so you don't collide with each other. So you can same leads found in campaigns of your team members, same leads found in other campaigns. So you can skip leads if they're found in other campaigns or other team members campaigns. You can also skip them if they don't have an open profile, if they don't have a photo if they have less than 500 connections, if they have a free LinkedIn account. So you can, I usually just leave these blank, um, depending on what we're doing. Save and launch, and that's it. It's on its way. Um, when we go back to campaigns, now we'll see it in the list. It'll start to upload the leads, and you can always uh, get more details in here about how the campaign's running. So you can see like where it is in the progress. And then, um, you can check back periodically. Now for messages, 
Um, basically, you can do it from here. So if you want me to manage the messages, these will be the only the messages that come in from a Dripify contact. Uh, so if you have other messages, they won't appear here. They'll only be the ones that come in from one of those leads uh, that provided in the campaign. And when with the inbox, uh, you can respond here if you want me to manage the messaging, or you can also reply to them directly in LinkedIn uh, without using the inbox here, and it does synchronize. So whatever you reply will also appear here if you wanted to continue the conversation back in here. And then once I'm done here, I go back to my main account. Um, so I don't need to necessarily do anything in there. Um, we'll see some notifications in unread messages here, which is handy. So I don't always have to continually log in. And I can manage your subscription through here so that it can be covered through my account um, once the trial is expired. All right, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, and we'll also go through the sequence so you can see all that's in working in more detail.